Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE dishwasher solenoid and bracket assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new solenoid and bracket assembly. The solenoid and bracket assembly is mounted on the dishwasher pump. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if the solenoid has gone bad and it's not switching from wash to drain. In order to change the part, we're going to tip the dishwasher on its top, so we're going to open up the door and take out the lower rack and set it aside. Once you have the door open, all you have to do is pull it out so we can set it aside. With the lower rack out of the way, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws that hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Now that we have the screws out, we can go under the sink and remove the lines. First thing that we're going to do is remove your dishwasher drain line, follow it up to wherever it goes and remove the clamp. We're going to use a 5 16 on ours. Make sure that when you take these off, they have some towels around. Both the water line and the drain line might put some water out. Next thing we have to do is remove the fill line. It's usually connected to the hot water tap. And of course, we already had that shut off and the power disconnected from earlier. But now we need to remove the line and we can take it off with a 5 8 inch wrench. With the lines disconnected underneath the sink, we're going to come over and lift up on the door and use that to start the dishwasher from coming out of the cabinets. Once you have it out far enough that you can grab the frame, we can close the door and use the frame to pull it out the rest of the way. Now that we have the dishwasher out of the cabinets, we're going to lay a towel on the floor to protect it and also soak up any water that may come out when we flip the dishwasher over. Now that we have the dishwasher upside down, we have access to the solenoid and bracket assembly. First, we're going to take the wire connectors off. You want to remember where the wires go. As you're looking at it, the double white and red is towards the motor, and the gray is towards the other side. So we're going to pull those off. Then we can disconnect the spring that goes from the solenoid bracket to the cam down here. With the spring disconnected, we can take the E-clip off the shaft down here that holds the cam on. We're going to take a small screwdriver and pop it off. You know, be careful you don't drop it. It might go down inside the pump. You don't want to lose it. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. With the E-clip off, we're going to remove the two screws that hold the solenoid and bracket onto the pump. There's one located here, and then there's one located behind the cam. We're going to use a short Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once you have the screw almost out, you want to put your hand down there and catch it, just like the E-clip. You don't want to drop it down into the pump. Once you have the lower screw out, then you can remove the upper one. Once you have both screws out, we're going to carefully pull the cam off the shaft right here and pull the whole solenoid and bracket and cam out all as one piece. Once you have the solenoid assembly out, you can set the plunger and the cam down. We're going to put that into the new solenoid when we install it. Here's the old solenoid and bracket assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. The new solenoid doesn't come with the spring in the bracket, so we're going to have to show you how to switch those out. We're going to disconnect the spring from the bracket on this side, and then disconnect it from this side. Then we'll reconnect it onto the new one and let it hang there. Then we can take the bracket off the old one. Nothing holds it on. All you have to do is rotate it over and lift it off. And then to put it on, all you have to do is line it up on the new one. Make sure the little tabs go in the holes. Lift it up into place. 
and then we can pull the spring back over and hook it up. Once you have the new solenoid and bracket assembled, we can put it into the dishwasher. To put the new solenoid and bracket assembly on, we're going to very carefully pick this assembly up and put the plunger into the solenoid. And then you want to line it up so that you can hold it with your other finger like this. And then you're going to have to line it up so the cam is lined up with the hole that the shaft is going to come out of. So we're going to slide it on all as one piece. Once you have it on all the way, these little pins should come out and kind of hold it on before you put the screws in. But while you have it there, before we tighten it down, you want to make sure that the plunger moves up and down like it's supposed to and it's not jammed up. Once you have it in place, we can use our short Phillips screwdriver and put the screws in. Now that we have the screws in, we can put the E-clip on the end of the shaft. If you have to, you can reach in with a small screwdriver and snap it on. You want to make sure you don't drop it. Once you have it locked in place, we can grab the spring and reattach it to the bracket on the top. Once you have the spring reattached, we can reattach the wire harness. Remember the double white was towards the pump and the gray was towards this side of the machine. All you have to do is plug it on, make sure you get a good connection. Once you have that reconnected, we can put the dishwasher back on its base and put it back in the cabinet. In order to get the dishwasher back on its feet, we're going to push it over a little bit so we can roll it over. If you need to get somebody to help you, you can. Once you have it back on its feet, you can pull the towel out and then we can put the dishwasher back in the cabinets. First thing we need to do is put the lines back through the cabinet. We want to push the dishwasher in about halfway and then go underneath the sink and pull on the hoses to make sure that they're not kinked or caught on anything underneath. We can push it back into the counter. We can hook back up the lines. So we're going to hook up the water line and use our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down. Then we can hook up the drain line back up to the air gap. All you have to do is push it on and tighten down the clamp using your 5 16 nut driver or screwdriver. Now that we have the lines reconnected underneath the sink, we can open up the dishwasher door and use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in to hold it to the countertop. To put the lower rack back in, all you have to do is set it on the door and push it back into the dishwasher. Once you have it all the way in, you can close the dishwasher door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.